mean, there could be a lot of things going into that. Not wanting to bring kids into the world that we have right now. That's part of it. Um, ideologies about population overshoot and things like that. Um, those I personally reject at this point. We're, we're going to face population decline probably within my lifetime. Um, and faster than I think than most demographers think. But even conventional demographers are forecasting population decline. Um, there could be You know, partly just influence of the um, cultural devaluation of raising a family. I think that in this in this area, the reasons people give themselves for wanting or not wanting children are uh, not the real reasons. People usually narrate the reasons to themselves that fit in with their worldview and self-image. This is not just in this case, but especially in the case of having children or not. Partly there's a, um, notion of freedom that draws on the concept of the individual. So having another person totally dependent on you, a baby, that you're no longer free to express yourself in the ways that an unattached individual expresses herself. Whereas, so, so yeah, whereas in a community-oriented culture, there is no detraction from your freedom when you have a child. You become free in new ways, actually, and you have a lot of support. But in a nuclear family setup, it's hard to take care of kids. There's no one for them to play with. Um, it can be quite an ordeal. So partly it's, it's just social facts and partly um, an idea about what freedom is and who, and who you are, but that's also reflected in the culture. So it's not just that you have an idea of I want to be free and here's what freedom looks like. It's also that any other notion of freedom becomes impossible in a, a culture without real community. But I'll say that um, we really, the world really needs children who are brought up in a different story right now, who understand themselves as here to give to the world, who have been allowed to keep the intuitions of interbeing, who haven't been traumatized in various ways, these children will be, will be powerful. Yeah, you won't be harming the world by bringing another mouth in to feed. Having children is one of the ways that we can give to the world. It's um, a some cultures would understand it as a repayment of a debt the debt incurred by her birth and by being raised. It was a lot of work for somebody to raise you and you never can pay them back. So you can pay it forward. But it's not for everybody. <laughs>